Sports. As most of you will know, if I'm, you know, if you're checking out the random show, um, I've been indoors all weekend. All weekend, I've been indoors, which is a real big change for me. Usually, I'm always outside in some regard. Um, I think I had a bit of a rant about it on the random show that I'm getting a bit annoyed at this kind of judgment era that we're living in at the moment. This sort of lifestyle shame, and I think it's happening a lot nowadays, especially within my circle of friends or people that I know, because we're all kind of advancing in our age and whatnot. And some people maybe haven't really achieved their potential. Some people are maybe feeling insecure about where they are some people are just lost and confused and when they see somebody that's in the same age range as them still enjoying the things that we enjoyed when we were maybe in our early 20s it can kind of get a little bit jarring and kind of remind you that you're not really where you need to be and then maybe you know me coming around and being the quintessential quote-unquote party boy it has some certain labels on it right it means maybe you're always getting drunk you're always on drugs you're always doing this but really when I go out for the most part as weird as it may be and as hard as it is because I say all the time raving sober is legitimately one of the most hardest and i think deadest experiences ever especially if you got introduced to raving the traditional way right through your drugs and alcohol it's very difficult to go raving and actually go there stone cold sober and just enjoy it i think if you got introduced to raving just as a normal person just listen to music it's cool but the way i got introduced to raving and now kind of transitioning into this kind of adult raving where i could just go and watch someone dj and just drink a red bull and go home it took, takes a lot, but I do it quite often. I've been to flipping Berlin. I went to the Bergheim completely sober. Like I spent a whole weekend in these places. I do it all the time, but I also like to play up to this image that I'm always on it. I think it's just fun. It kind of reminds me a little bit of like Future when I, when I kind of clocked in. You know, Future's one of my favorite artists, but I kind of clocked after listening to his music. I was like, hold on, this guy isn't doing all these perks. He's not do, drinking all this lean. He's not doing all this coke. He's not do, having all these ecstasy pills. It's impossible. A person at Future who has that amount of kind of flipping out put in his work and uh, you know over time i feel like his recent albums have become more and more polished over time his guest verses are incredibly strong some of them go incredibly viral it's impossible that that person is still perked up every single day same goes for the weekend but it's just nice to play into this idea that you're this maverick rock star type of guy so i kind of play into it a little bit and i lean into it i understand but i don't like the judgment and the shaming and the kind of pointing of the fingers from others as because they kind of feel uncomfortable with their own life choices and maybe they feel like if they get around you that you're suddenly going to be the oh let's go buy a baggie oh let's go get a drink kind of guy and I'm never that dude like I always kind of go out for my own and I'm going to go out on my own anyway most of the time and if I'm going out with other people I don't kind of try to rope them into my fun like if you're having if you're having your kind of fun you have your kind of fun but I'm going to roll off and do my thing anyway I don't need to kind of have some support system with me to justify my flipping you know adult choices and stuff I never ever ever done that so when people start to kind of point and do that thing it kind of get on my nerves but anyway regardless i do me they can judge they can do what they want to do but for the most part i have like loads of periods of times in my life where you know maybe for a stretch maybe two months maybe three months where i just don't go out i just kind of you know i'm comfortable in my own skin which i'm happy that i'm that person but it's also a little bit worrying like uh, uh, you know how how um very how little contact i need with actual humans to be fun to, to function and stuff i know this is kind of a cheat because, you know, when you stream and you create content, you're kind of con communicate with people as well, even though you don't see them physically. These are real humans you're kind of interacting with. So you kind of get that there. But in IRL, I can kind of go without seeing anybody for ages and ages, even though I'm really social, I'm really outgoing. I like to party, I like to dance, I like to get, you know what I mean, like I'm I, when I go to these raves, I'm not in the back just like sitting down, you know, unless I'm going to like a queer party where I don't want to like, you know, invade in their space. For the most part, I'm in the middle, like just going flipping crazy and dancing my face off, right? Like loads of flipping, you know black man sweat and bo is like flying off my face so i like to do that and get involved but i also like to just be on my own and read you know autobiographies on um on on the big man h right on big h over there right i like to read autobiographies on the big h as well so i'm kind of you know i'm a little bit complex like that so all that stuff happens so i'm quite happy that i did stay in this weekend i'm not gonna lie um, it's been quite nice, quite refreshing just to be indoors, not doing anything, drinking loads of green juice, as some of you guys have seen, you know, having some scrambled eggs with some beans and whatnot, and drinking loads of water, and just kind of hanging out and chilling. And I know sooner or later, a crazy weekend will come about, but I just like the fact that I can do that, and I don't need encouragement to do anything else, because, you know, the stories that I'm hearing from some people about lifestyle, I'm like bloody hell because i'm sure some of you are aware or it's not like a big surprise to some people but you know i'm hearing or i've heard online stories about people like you know suffering from terminal illnesses you know a person that might have cancer or something is on the road to recovery and then i guess maybe if you have cancer or something maybe there is or maybe like a terminal illness and you're kind of yeah on your own to, to recovery and you feel like maybe the you know 
the, there's light in the tunnel and maybe just the, the process of going through that chemo and just suffering and pain, all that sort of stuff for long times and just maybe feeling like feeling like a little bit like a black, not like a black sheep, like a leper a little bit. You feel a little bit awkward around people. You don't want people to look at you like you're, you know, like you're helpless and stuff and whatever it may be, right? Especially if you're a woman, right? You're going to maybe feel really ugly. Um, maybe if you're a guy, you're going to feel like you're not useful. Um, you're going to feel like people like, you know, are like tending over you all the time. They can't look after yourself. I'm sure all these like, complexes get into your head. But it's been messed up to read online to see people legitimately who are going through that and kind of, you know, recovering on the other side. And now they're in a position where they're recovering and they start to party straight away. They don't even go through like the recovery stages of like taking the medication and relaxing and doing because I'm, I'm sure I'm pretty sure I've read somewhere if you're like on recovery for cancer and stuff you're not even meant to be doing that much exercise you're meant to be conserving your energy right it's like kind of like a whole thing you're meant to be doing because obviously it, you know it can it can kind of come back which is obviously horrible but hearing stories of people like legitimately like you know on the other end you know after kind of getting you know surgery or whatnot coming off the other end of chemo and then decided to party you know buying flipping grams of whatever um you know drinking and being outdoors and stuff i'm just like oh i'm just like wow man the human brain and what we sort of like rationalize and justify in our own heads to kind of make sense is pretty wild isn't it so in the same token i've got friends who maybe look at me and think oh I can't hang out at Agostino because if I hang out at Agostino, it's going to be a crazy night. And it's basically then project... Maybe it's, a, maybe it's an accurate judgment, I'm not going to say. But their projection, their kind of insecurities or their inabilities to not have any willpower or to not have any kind of personality or, or kind of, you know, mind of their own as if I'm like going to be dragging them, you know, or kind of like telling them what to do, like I'm some sort of wizard or something. They're kind of projecting onto me in some respects, right? And trying to justify that as a way for them not to go out. In the same way where maybe if you're someone that's a cancer, you know, uh, survivor, quote unquote, and you're on the other end, maybe you decide to have a couple of lines or drop a couple of pills or have a drink. You're basically telling yourself, hey, either you're a fatalist and you're like, or nihilist, sorry, and you're like, you know what, the end is going to come, we will die anyway. Or you're basically thinking, I'm on the other end now. Do you know what I mean? Like this whole recovery thing is just like, you know, it's whatever, but I'm, I'm fine. It should be okay. And even if I'm not fine, I'm not going to, I'm not going to like, you know, take this illness just lying down and not having fun. I'm going to have fun. And if it means my time is over, my time is over kind of thing, which is kind of wild to think that, but Hey, maybe, it's, maybe that's quite freeing actually. Maybe that's actually a freeing way to look at it. Like, you know what? The end is going to come regardless. This is obviously a horrible illness to get. Uh, I'm on the road to recovery. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Because the same thing that people do when they're in hospital and they just come out of surgery and they're stressed and they want to have a cigarette. Do you know what I mean? It's like really and truly, you know, what's the real harm of a one cigarette? But I don't think you can really equate a cigarette <laughs> to having a couple of lines or a drink or like whatever. Do you know what I mean? It's probably in two different flipping stratospheres. But hey, what do I know? <laughs>